in this block i am going to discuss about how you can create a simple view widget uh, and then you can inject it into your angular and react application so my first goal is i am going to create a simple view application which is uh, nothing but a share option for uh, my blog so like this one uh, if i click on it then it will show the facebook twitter pinterest that option so i'm going to inject this component into my angular and react application angular application i have already injected it and which you can find it out into, into if you scroll down and coming to the end of the blog if you, you can see if i have already injected it and the same thing i am going to inject it in the react application but let me before doing that one let me go through of it how i build that application first one create a view with typescript application there is nothing uh, ex exception it will be just uh, create the view with the view cli and the link also i will give it to you how you can create it and then after you need to create a simple ts file and configure the option mount and unmount feature over there so uh, let me open up the simple application so this is the application i am running and showing it into the browser so i am already having the data option and data and options showing the uh, url and the search text this is the text i am passing for the uh, button title and uh, then once that uh, view initiation happens then i am going to create the app.view in app.view i am having the uh, how i can reading it from the options so that is the important one reading that value from the options and set it in the variable and then after once i got the url and the share text i'm passing it to the social share link this view component and in that view component i am just creating all the urls and share it with the uh, with the different different social uh, options like facebook uh, twitter pinterest linkedin and that, that like that so uh, now once i build that one i have to create a umd build and for that umd build you have to be depend upon this command so likewise let me just go through once once again create a new application then after you are having that options to uh, create a, ex, uh, extend the options where you can pass the value with the key value pair and having the mount and unmount options over there and then after the view file how we can do it and how i am sending the data as a key value pair using set options that you we are i am having it here and then step four is how you can read it and uh, read the external data and use it in your view application that is the second one uh, the fourth one uh, reading the options and then populate the value into your uh, variable and then compilation and build so this is the command i am running to generate the build uh, so let me go there and if you, if you can see once i build it i am having this uh, this dist folder dist folder is having all the umd build with the uh, J, unified js and css file so i am having i am just just copy the umd min.js file and css file put it in the demo.html file demo.html file let me open it and show it to you so what i am having in demo.html first font that is for the all uh, facebook twitter that font um, uh, font css and then after the bootstrap cdn and then this is the view cdn i am when i am running it from the view only demo.html 
I will not have view or npm install. I cannot do that. I, everything I need to depend upon the uh, CDN CDN property. So that is the view CDN and then bootstrap CDN. And this is the link I am having for the UMD link. That is the local LP share and LP uh, CSS. And once I am having that one, LP share options will be enabled for me. And I am loading that LP share options and passing the values uh, to the to that JavaScript and also mount over the LP share like uh, this this particular ID. Now on top of it, I I am mounting on it. So how I have defined the LP share? So for that you need to go to the package.json file and if you could see I have defined the name of that property, name of that module. So I can understand, uh, the JavaScript can understand that NPCR object once it is being injected in the demo.html file. So let me just quickly open it up. I am just double clicking on it. So, if you could see that a uh, page is linked or uh, opened, and if I click on it, it will just working as expected. And if I click on Twitter, and it will navigate to the Twitter and show the options for definitely, it will show the options to share or tweet that particular link. Show it to you. So here you go. A simple way to design responsive website. So this is the way uh, it is um, uh, being added in simple HTML. So the same thing I have already done it in Angular file. So in Angular I have already done that. And the same thing I am going to do in the next.js, which is nothing but a, a books site. And let me do that and show it to you. So, before doing that, I am. So, this is the next application. And let me open run that application. And till it run the application, so let me show it to you a uh, few more things over there. So I am having that main.layout.tsx file. So there I am having the social share option. So there I am commenting it. Uh, basically, it is having the path of that UMD, which I as I have already incorporated in the in uh, other other files so i can directly read it from there and the uh, js and css file and this is the font file so i am i, I have added in the header header section of the main dot layout and then after if i go back to the ts file where i am already adding the uh, so here it is mm. First, let me uh, uncomment that object. So this is the object name. Using that LP share, I am going to recognize that uh, JavaScript and going to call the different methods. Uh, let me just uncomment that one. So how it is going to happen when I get the URL from the uh, API from the API call and uh, then after it will uh, open the set the url with the post url and share text i am not passing anything and on top of it it will mount in uh, mount the uh, javascript on that particular id where i have defined the lp share id uh, if you if i scroll down and down so here i have defined the lp share id so let me go back and uh, check.
out how it is how it is working so uh, it is running on port 500 server port Okay, the application is running and I click on the read book section. Navigate to the page and if I click on the adventures of Tintin, it will navigate to the next page and if you open up the Cedars of Ara. So here you can see that uh, the, the little share button is appeared and if I click on it something weird happening is that uh, I need to modify the CSS so let me go back to the code and I have already injected on share.css so why I have uh, commented it out like that way you can override the css as well so if i just comment uncomment it and go back to the chrome browser just wait a couple of minutes to get it refresh This is the way the it will work. And if I click on share of that in Reddit, it will open that one, the title and the URL and post it here. So I am not going to post it so as it is coming from the local host, but this is the way you can build your UX project and view view with uh, view project with typescript or normal view.js or using you can leverage view store and then you can incorporate it in the uh, in the angular application your react application even if you have few application you can inject it once you are having the umd build you can inject that JavaScript with any application wherever you want. So keep that experiment. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Please subscribe my channel and like that video. Thank you.